to a man known as Hong Shou Cui, who lived in China during the 19th century, claimed to be the brother of Jesus Christ. He tried to overthrow the then-ruling Qing dynasty with his own Christian kingdom, known as Taiping Heavenly Kingdom. The conflict resulted in approximately 20 million deaths. Their beliefs weren't solely built on their leader's cultist spiritual malarkey. A lot of it had elements of a populist uprising against what its members perceived to be weakness on the part of the Qing dynasty government and failing to do more to stop British colonialism in China. The Taiping Rebellion overlaps with, and is kind of inseparable from, the effects of the two Opium Wars, in which the British Empire forced China at cannon point to allow British merchants to import opium into the country. It's such great news that Jesus was actually Chinese. I'm sure that when he returns looking Chinese that he will be embraced by Christians worldwide as a true ruler of humanity. Some Renaissance paintings depicting him as a white dude with long hair and a beard will need to be updated though. People have been figuring out the best ways of being a successful charlatan by watching the victories and failures of other past successful charlatans since the dawn of humanity. The most successful charlatans were the first superpowers on earth and stayed that way until we split the atom. I wish my brother Jesus would come to me in my dreams and teach me how to sword fight demons. Real talk, though. The Lions Led by Donkeys podcast did some fantastic episodes on the whole movement as well as the contemporary pirate stuff that was going on in China. Live fast, eat grass. I've also heard of some 200-300 Filipinos who were recruited by Frederick Towns and Ward as his personal and separate bodyguard unit under the ever-victorious army against the Taiping rebels due to their fighting prowess which they showed during the group's earlier campaigns. Taiping is also the main reason why the Communist Party in China fears a resurgence of organized religion. They have proven to be capable of organizing and offer a viable alternative to the centralized government. Fun fact! The General Tso of General Tso's chicken fame was one of the military leaders who put down the rebellion. He's a famed general and well-known in China, even if the chicken named after him isn't. Yep. Often it gets overshadowed in Western history as it occurred concurrent with the American Civil War. In case you were wondering where why all those Chinese immigrants showed up, my pastor said Jesus' brother was actually just regular Jesus from another timeline that came here. He didn't mention anything about him being Asian but also never said he wasn't so. Chinese history be like the quiet countryside hit a mild rough patch in year 1300 when Santa Claus declared war on the Easter Bunny dynasty, 700 billion people died. Here is a pretty informative video of the entire conflict war in a jokey way, kind of like history of the entire world, I guess. European Christians considered providing some help to him until they've actually met him and found out the guy has never seen a Bible in his life. I really got to brush up on Chinese history, truth be told I never heard of this in my life. Cool to learn tragic 20 million died. Considering the 30-50 million collateral deaths due to famine this conflict may have actually killed more people than World War II. Sing Shoujian takes power. Wu Dan Dynasty collapses. 150 billion Chinese perish. Bing Chilling takes power. Repeat. The heavenly kingdom of great peace caused 20 million deaths and I bet not one single Christian gets the irony. Believe it or not, I first heard about this from a family guy bit. Hong Shou Chuan rebels, 20 million die, overwhelming victory for Chinese government. He doesn't have the body count of his brother or his father, but not too shabby. Routine ancient Chinese conflict. 10 to 20 million deaths in St. MVP numbers. I see someone else is a few weeks behind listening to lions led by donkeys. Chinese history be like Hong Shou Chuan takes power. 20 million perish. Chinese history be like. Emperor Zai has an idea. 20 million people die. Lions led by donkeys podcast recently did a multi-part series on this. Sounds like a normal day for a dude who pulls his goalie all the time. The world would have surely been a different place had he won. There's a very good Lions Led by Donkeys series about this. I always preferred the brother with time travel abilities. 